Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budehas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn the relationships between chords and arcs. Let's start. First is the bisected chord theorem. This theorem states that if a radius of a circle bisects a chord in the same circle, then the radius and a chord are perpendicular. The word bisect is it divides line segment into two equal parts. For example, in the figure here, the radius AB bisects or divides the line segment CD, which is the chord, at point X. It follows that line segment AB or the radius is perpendicular to line segment CD or the chord. That's the bisected chord theorem. Second is the apothem. Apothem is a distance of a chord to the center of the circle. Again, it is the distance of a chord to the center of the circle. For example, in the figure here, line segment VT represents the distance between the line segment UW or the chord to the center T. That's the distance, the line segment VT, and that's the apothem. In the same manner, line segment TY is also the apothem between line segment XZ or the chord to the center. Again, the apothem is the distance from a chord to a center. Third is the congruent chords theorem. If two chords of a circle are congruent, then their apothems and intercepted arcs are also congruent. For example, the figure illustrates circle O with the congruent chords line segment AB and line segment DE. It follows that the apothems FO and CO are congruent as well as the intercepted arcs AB and DE. So that's the congruent chords theorem. If you have two chords that are congruent, it follows that the apothems are also congruent and their intercepted arcs. When I say congruent, they are equal. Okay, now let's try some examples about the relationships between chords and arcs. Number one, in a given circle O, the chords line segment AB and line segment BC are congruent. What can be concluded between arc AB and arc BC? As we observe, we have a common point, which is point B. This is the common point for the two chords or two line segments. Now, we want to know what must be concluded between arc AB and arc BC. To illustrate, we have this. This is the line segment AB and the line segment BC. So this is the common point. And these are the two chords. Now, since line segment AB and line segment BC are congruent, it follows that their intercepted arc, which is AB and arc BC, are also congruent. That's according to the congruent chords theorem. If the two chords are congruent, then their intercepted arcs are also congruent. Example number two. In circle O, the chords line segment AB and line segment CD are congruent. That's given. If the measure arc AB is equal to 2x plus 13 degrees, and the measure arc CD is equal to 3x minus 2 degrees, find the measure arc AB and measure arc CD. 
So we want to know what's the exact value, though we have a given mathematical expressions here for both arcs. But we want to know what is really the exact value of arc AB and arc CD. Now let's illustrate the problem. We have this. This is now the arc AB. Oh, no, the line segment AB and line segment CD. So as given, they are congruent. And the measure arc AB is 2x minus 13. And line segment CD is 3x minus 2 degrees. Since the two chords or the two line segments are congruent, it follows that their intercepted arcs are also congruent. That's according to congruent chords theorem. It also means that measure arc AB is equal to measure arc CD. We just equate them since they are congruent. And that's according to congruent chords theorem. We have our basis. Now, since measure arc AB is equal to measure arc CD, we can solve for the value of X by substituting their corresponding values. So we will solve first what's the value of X. And here we have measure arc AB is equal to measure arc CD. Our AB is 2X plus 13 and our arc CD is 3X minus 12. Now, solving this, we have to combine like terms, the variable term on the left side, and the constant terms on the le left side, or right side rather. So we have uh, transposed this positive 13 to the, ne uh, to the other side, it becomes negative 13, and this 3x transpose it to the left side, it becomes negative 3x. So you have now. 2x minus 3x is equal to negative 2 minus 13. And 2x minus 3x is negative x. Negative 2 minus 13 is negative 15. Now we want to know what is the value of x, not the negative x. So we have to divide both sides by negative 1 and it becomes x. And the other side is 15. The value of x is equal to 15. Now, that value will be substituted to the given mathematical expressions for a, b, and c, d. For measure arc a, b, we have 2x plus 13. Our x is 15. So, you have 2 times 15 plus 13. 2 times 15 is 30. Just copy plus 13. 30 plus 13 is 43. And for the measure arc CD, the mathematical expression is 3x minus 2. The value of x is 15. Just copy minus 2. 3 times 15 is 45. Minus 2 is 43. And they have the same number or the same measurement. Therefore, the measure arc AB is equal to 43 degrees and measure arc CD is also equal to 43 degrees. Though they don't have the same mathematical expression as given, but they, we, ar we arrive at the same answer. And that is the congruent chord theorem. And that's all for today's discussion. I want you to answer this individual practice the two problems here and please do comment your answers below so that i can check if you are really learning from this discussion and that ends my discussion thank you for watching